In this video, I'm going to show you really quickly how I made a YouTube cover photo for my channel using Midjourney. Now, I wanted to create some auto-generated images that kind of showed off just some cool visuals for what sort of stuff I offer on my mid, uh, my um, YouTube channel. So I went in here and I put some prompts into Midjourney that just sort of describe some like futuristic students of you know learning AI, learning about data science, learning about uh, no code. And what I did is just got a bunch of different images. Now for the Midjourney stuff, I have some free courses. There will be some links below if you want to go learn in depth how to use Midjourney for this exact purpose and for others to do a lot of cool things, how to get images um, for you know thumbnails, for all these different things. And then I just took them into this uh, editor called Pixlr X and it's just a free uh, photo editing software or graphic maker that you can use online where you can easily take your photos and just bring them up, <clears throat> put them in there, overlay them with some text and then just go. And it automatically knows all of the formats for everything that you would need to do on YouTube, including the cover photo. So I just took the ones that I liked, saved them, then brought them into Pixlr X, arranged them, and from there I just worked on taking them, formatting them, overlaying the text, and then getting the setup right so that I could bring in that image into YouTube. So I just cropped them a little bit, moved them around. This whole process took me about 10 minutes, very easy. And it would have taken me forever <clears throat> or it would have been very costly to get the images. And I ended up getting this awesome format for this thumbnail. Now I hadn't actually made a YouTube cover photo before. So I went and said, okay, well, you know, let's go ahead and get uh, the text to align in the way that I needed it to. So all I did was just move the text boxes down and they aligned perfectly to where you could see on mobile the text right there. So all in all, I hope this is helpful. I'll be dropping some more courses that teach the in-depths of this. If you like this uh, video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and have a good one.